Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech. And a little while back, sixth grader Bria created this awesome octopus that we turned into a keychain. I had a second student modify it, and she's sharing her design. So let's get cracking. Friends, first things first, this is the actual design. If you have not seen this, I will have a link to the tutorial and shout out to Bria above. It is super fast, about eight minutes. You make a cute little octopus with a bow. I tell you to use these eyes, but then I started cutting out the eyes so we could put the filament in it so it shows up. I shared this tutorial with some sixth graders today and we already got some mods. Let me paste in TT's link and let me show you what she built. All right, friends, so here is TT's version. She has got a fancy little mouth and a fancy little hat, which is what I am loving about this project. In just a few minutes, you can create something cool and you can modify it so that I can 3D print it for you. So friends, let me show you the little steps that we have to make this happen. First, if we ungroup it all, you can see that in her eyeballs, she has added two tiny cylinders. Let me show you how to do this. Make sure you bring out the whole cylinder. Make sure you make it round. Hold down shift and shrink it to any number, but then in the box, I want you to type 1.92. This is the number that I found fits the best when we're sliding in the filament with my printers. Once you've got it shrunk, I do want you to make it five millimeters tall, so we've got room to push it in. If you make it six or seven, that does work as well. I'm gonna actually leave this six as I show you how it happens. Now the tricky part is we need to rotate it. I'm going to tell you to look at it from a corner and I'm going to tell you to rotate it 45 degrees. Now we need to move this to the eyeball. So we're going to hold down shift and select the eyeball and we're going to click a line, make the eyeball the boss. And we're going to tell it center, center and center. So when you get it there, you've got a good look at where it's going to be. Now from that same angle, you can grab the handle and rotate it to the perfect spot for where you want to push in that piece of plastic. Everybody's will be a little different, but that's how you align it. Once you've got it there, if you want to push it in deeper, you need to do this. Click on the work plane, click on the flat piece of your eyeball, and then you can do control down arrow to sink it in to the right spot. I'm going to delete the one I just did and I'm going to leave TT's because they were fantastic. And then I'm going to group her awesome creation one more time. And let me show you what you have to do so that you can export it so I can 3D print your custom octopus creation. All right, so it took a moment to group. I'm going to put the work plane on the ground. It only prints one color, but I like to see the multicolor by doing this. So that way you can double check that it looks good. Make sure everything's connected. If your eyeballs aren't connected or your hat's not connected, that is a problem. Or whatever other cool features you add. Now to do this, you need to click on these settings. You need to find the advanced. You need to go to downloads and on downloads, you need to make it so that it says always ask where you're going to put it. Once you've got that done, you need to go back to your computer and find the MT tools folder. Inside this folder, you need to find the one that's labeled with STL and you need to right click and you need to pin it to your quick access. This way it'll always be over here on the left so that you can save to where I get your 3D printed projects. Friends, once you've got that pinned there, now you're ready to save your project so I can 3D print it. Return to your awesome project and I need you to click on export. 3D printed projects are STL files, so you need to click on the STL choice. When the window pops up for where you pick to put it, you need to slide all the way up, find your quick access, choose STL and then make sure it has your initials. Friends, you can also type your color you want after this. I can't guarantee it, but it doesn't hurt to put that there so at least I know what you're thinking. When you're done, you can hit save and you can let me know that you've created a modified octopus that you're ready to print. TT, I just wanna say thanks again for you making this awesome octopus. They are turning out fantastic and I totally appreciate you also being willing to share. Friends, of course, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you wanna be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me. HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.